Hi everyone, welcome back to the next diecast. In today's video, I'll be showing you and reviewing the 2018 scale Cadillac DeVille DTS Mary Kay made by Maisto. I got this model off of eBay for just under $60, I believe, in total, including shipping and, and everything. Um, these models do not come up too often um, for sale. Maisto actually made two different versions of this DeVille um, DTS model. They made the 2000 and the 2002 versions. Now the 2000 version came in silver with pretty much an identical um, interior. Um, the only difference is that on the 2000 version you don't have the night vision camera. This is the 2002 version, so it has the night vision camera and the badge on the hood, and it has the uh, heads up display unit on the dashboard here. Um, so the 2000 version they made um, in silver, and it was the first one that they, uh, that they released. There's actually a difficult to find um, dealer edition version of that model. Um, it comes in like a Cadillac box and, and everything. And my thoughts made the 2002 version um, that you see here. Um, that came in red, white, and this Mary Kay pink version. Um, all these models were made between 2000 and 2005. Um, this particular special edition Mary Kay version here, um, according to the box, it was made in, in 2002. I couldn't find too much information online regarding how many of these were actually produced and how long it was actually made for. Um, I believe it was probably produced in like limited numbers. I'm sure it was some sort of like a promotional thing uh, for the Mary Kay company, which is like a which is like a cosmetics and like a beauty company. Um, I tried reaching out to Maisto to kind of ask them, but I haven't heard back from them. So if anybody knows more information about how many of these Mary Kay uh, Maisto Cadillac models were produced and maybe. Um, like if you have one in your own collection, you know, um, feel free to comment down, down in the comments section. Uh, the seller that had this, I think all their stuff was probably from some kind of storage unit. They didn't specialize in model cars, so I feel like they probably wouldn't have known um, specific information about the model. But if you can find any version of Maestos DeVille DTS, um, I would say definitely get it. You may have to pay um, a higher price for it than you would for other uh, Maisto models. That, 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 that's only because um, these DTS models are so hard to uh, come by now. Um, and this model looks great. Like the pink on here is very subtle. It's like a pearlescent sort of white, sort of light pink. Um, it has like a metallic hue to it and almost looks white um, in certain lighting. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the details of this model here. We'll start up here at the front. I think Meister did a decent job with the headlights on the DeVille here. Um, they have the accurate shape to them. There are a couple of pegs that you can see, one on the side there and one kind of in the center of like the turn signal unit there. Um, but the lenses are nice and flush with the body. There is kind of a slight gap on this side, but you can't really see it too well unless you look at it like really close. You do have separate pieces down here for these fog lights. There is an obvious peg that's kind of annoying to see that, but at least for separate pieces, not just, you know, um, painted on and everything. I do a nice job with this grill here. This is a true kind of slatted grill. And he had a little red um, night vision camera in there too. That's actually a separately cast piece. And you have this nice kind of chrome band um, going uh, going across here, and then nicely um, applied Cadillac badge on the on the uh, hood here. Now, if you opt for the two thousand version, the badge will be where the night vision camera is. It'll actually be a separate piece. And the paint quality on this model overall, I would say, is a is a very well done. Meister well really nailed like the pink color that this real car. Um, would have. I know that they did actually make a Mary Kay um, DeVille DTS. I, and I guess it must have been a 2002 model because this model is a 2002. So I'm not really sure about like the specifics of that. I haven't seen any pictures online of a real life, you know, one-to-one -one scale Mary Kay DeVille DTS. They do um, exist. I did see some like DeVille forum that was talking about it, but no one was posting, you know, photos of it. But these were actually made, and Meister just kind of made a model based off that um, real car. But they did a great job with, with the paintwork on here, for sure. It's nice and smooth throughout. They did a great job with that, like, metallic sparkle. This one does have some kind of rubbing on the roof, as you can see, but that's because this was stored for a very long period um, of time with the window box kind of caved in a little bit on it. So I think that may have caused, like, some very slight damage. It's very hard to see, and with this camera, it's actually... Um, not too bad. Um, you can see a little bit on there. I'm sure I can find a way to just uh, remove it and everything. I was actually able to get a fair bit of kind of scuff marks off this car by just giving it, you know, a nice cleaning with with, with some soap and water. Um, a lot of these models that come up on eBay do seem to have some sort of issue with them, like missing parts or paint damage. I'm not, I'm not really sure why that is. 
This one was kind of, I guess, in the middle. It was never removed from its box, but it did have a couple, you know, paint flaws. But they're impossible to see unless you look at it, like, super close. So I don't think that's a big deal. I wouldn't even count it as, like, a factory defect, per se. The model overall is actually very heavy. I'd say it's almost as heavy as that Chrysler 300 model because the whole thing has just been a die cast, like the bumpers, the opening features, everything. So that's really nice to uh, see that. Taking a look at the side, we'll take a look at these uh, nice Cadillac rims here. Uh, Maisto has these rims on both the 2000 and the 2002 um, DeVille models. You see you do have a Goodyear tire on here. I really like when they include these kind of branded tires. And you have a nice Cadillac badge going um, in, in the center here. And the disc brake actually does move with, with the wheel, but you don't get um, brake um, um, calipers. Then again, it'd be kind of hard to see with these kind of smaller spokes. And of course, on this model, you do have full steering and full, um, full um, suspension too. It's actually smoother and better in the back than it is in the front here. Taking a look at the back, you do see that they do a decent job with these taillights here. There is kind of an obvious peg, but at least they pretty much nail the overall shape of them. And this rear brake light you see here, that actually is a separate piece. A lot of times these budget model manufacturers will just paint features like that on, but on here it is in fact a separate piece. And you actually do have a separate piece for this Cadillac badge back here. Um, very cool to see that. And you also have separate pieces for, for these um, two uh, license plate lights, along with that kind of chrome band uh, that surrounds it. You have a DTS badge on this side here, and then you have the North Star or the 32 volt um, North Star badge back here. And they do a decent job with these um, exhaust pipes. They could be a little bit better, I guess, molded, but at least they do a decent job with them. And this model does have the Mary Kay uh, license plate back here. Um, on most those other versions of this car, on the 2000 DTS, it just says 2000 DTS on the license plate, and on the 2002 versions that are not the Mary Kay version, um, I think they just say Cadillac or, or DTS back there. And the mirrors are actually a nice and, and a solid. Um, they're very sturdy. They're not going to, you know, um, snap off or anything like that. And they do a good job with kind of matching it up with this pink paint. Although I don't think this is actually a metallic paint job on, on these mirrors. I think they would have really kind of nailed the overall look of these even better if they had done kind of like a metallic paint. But from a distance, it really does blend in well with the rest of, with the, rest of the car. In terms of opening features, we'll take a look back here at the trunk to start off with. It's a very heavy and big um, opening piece, so we'll take a look at that. Um, decent sized trunk in here. They do a nice texture with the with the plastic. Massive holes back here for these dog leg um, hinges, but if you look at the trunk from a certain angle like this, you really can't tell that they're um, even there. Uh, but they do a nice job of the overall shape and proportions of this trunk piece. I wish it kind of went all the way up. You can see the plastic kind of ends in that corner. They don't do kind of a full, plastic piece back here. But again, you're not gonna really be opening the trunk too often anyway, so I don't think that's a big deal. We'll close that up. We'll take a look next at the engine detailing of this model here. The hood opens up like so. You can see Maestro does a nice job with the North Star um, V8 in here. Um, on the real car, this engine was not very uh, re reliable and it was known for like leaking and stuff like that. But, with, but um, with, with the model, I don't really have to worry about that too much. <laughs> uh, but Meister does a decent job with molding um, the engine in here. Uh, there are some separate pieces going on on here. There actually is a prop rod that you can lift up like so. It's kind of hard to do it with, with a one hand. But if the hood ever weakens and doesn't stay up, you can always just use the a prop rod to um, hold it up. But as you see, it does say the North Star 32 valve V8 on that main block there. And you do have the Cadillac badge um, on the center of, of that block too. You actually can see all the way down to the bottom of the car in some spots, which um, which I think is a cool feature. And they actually do a separate piece for this radiator down here. And this entire pink portion you see here, that actually is metal. That actually contributes to part of the reason why the car is so heavy, because they have this kind of metal brace going between uh, the lights on here. So I think that's cool that, that they actually um, did that. Uh, the hood is, not, is pretty much fully painted on the underside, but it's just hard to actually um, see that. And that little kind of um, groove in there, that's where the prop rod goes to um, hold up the hood. Again, I'm trying to get it to lift up. It does lift, lift up, it's just hard to do it with uh, one hand here. There we go, you can kind of see it, I'm working in place there. But yeah, I think that's a cool touch. I wish Meister still included like the prop rods in their um, engines. But overall, I think they did a good job with the detail in here. Unfortunately, only have opening front doors on this model, but most Meisto models um, that are sedans and like, you know, four door vehicles, um, just have the opening front doors anyway, with the exception of, of a couple other models. So I don't think that's a big deal. The doors open up like so on dog leg hinges. 
These are actually still very tight because the doors were never um, open prior to me getting this model, so that, that's kind of cool. Um, very nicely detailed in interior, as you'll see here. We'll take a look at the door panels um, to, uh, to start off with. Might still really nail the overall look and shape of these door panels and the textures. There's actually at least three different textures, at least three different textures going on here. You have that kind of leather pattern going across the top, a sort of wood grain look along this band here, and the nicely um, silver and, and the nicely done silver um, um, door handle piece too. You actually have a functional pocket down here too. I love the two tone look to it. It's kind of like a light sand or, or like a light beige and kind of a darker um, color. And the doors are actually fully framed in a metal too. I forgot to uh, mention that. Taking a look at the seats, Maestro did an excellent job with the overall look and shape of the seats on here. They have a very nice kind of leather um, texture to them, and they do actually move um, a slight bit. And even the back seat, they do a nice job with that detailing too. Even with like the door panels and everything, despite the fact that you can't open these rear doors, Maestro still puts in all the necessary details on this uh, rear seat. And of course, all the seats do have um, a, a seat belt to go along with them. I may actually make these buckles silver, but they are actually um, separate seat belt pieces. They actually have a different texture from the seat, so I think um, that's actually a cool touch. And you have a nicely done um, armrest here too that also has a nice um, texture to it. Taking a look at the dashboard and the center stack, Maestro just nails the overall look. Uh, the leather pattern is just spot on, and so is the uh, wood grain pattern. They actually do a great job with the vents, too. It looks like you can actually like move the vents around. And all the buttons, of course, on the center stack are separately labeled and painted on. You can even kind of read them just a little bit if you look very, very close. And the shifter, they also do a great job with. You see that wood grain kind of surround on there, um, and the park, reverse, and neutral, and drive, etc. cetera. Uh, very tight-fitting piece on here. The shifter is actually a separate piece, but you wouldn't know it because it's actually so tightly um, 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 attached on there. Uh, and also with the glove box, looks like you can open it. You actually have the night vision symbol on the glove box. I'm just now, I'm seeing that. That's a very cool touch. Um, this was actually one of the first vehicles um, ever to have the night vision feature. I think Cadillac introduced it in 2000 or 2001. Um, and, the De and the DeVille DTS was produced from 2000 until 2005. The night vision feature was removed in 2005, but then, but then the OnStar um, emergency call feature was added to, I guess, replace that. Um, so yeah, just very cool stuff. We'll take a look at this side of the uh, interior next. Maestro did a great job with the look and shape of the steering wheel, as you can see here. You see that you, you can actually see the uh, Cadillac badge in the center along with the two little um, horn symbols and the um, airbag symbols. Now the buttons on the steering wheel, they don't actually color in, but you can see them a little bit there. I wish they maybe have colored um, those in order to just add it to uh, the details in here and it would have looked uh, very, very nice. Although you do actually have the controls um, painted on the other side of the steering wheel here. You can see there, there's a few controls next to the gauge cluster and a few controls next to the steering wheel. I believe that's like where the automatic um, lights and stuff um, are controlled. And they do a nice job with molding that um, steering wheel stock there too. Uh, the, the gauge cluster is also well done. It's just kind of one big sticker, but they do nail the overall look of the, um, of the gauges that would be on the uh, real car. Kind of hard to see, but um, like with the angle that the dashboard is uh, set at. And you do have pedals um, down here too. Maestro molds them in separate black plastic pieces. They're kind of hard to see because they kind of blend in with that shadow there. Uh, but they are nicely done and they are uh, well shaped too. Go ahead and close that up. We'll take a look next at the undercarriage detailing of the model. Decent detailing job with the um, exhaust system and everything. It is done in chrome, which they've done it maybe in like silver painted, but a lot of these Maestro models do have like the chrome um, um, exhaust systems underneath, so I don't think that's a big deal. You do see a bit of the uh, engine detailing by the wheels here, which is a very cool touch. So this is a very um, unique model, and I am actually um, very glad to have it. I've been looking at Maestro's um, DeVille DTS models for uh, quite some time now, and I just happened to find this uh, Mary Kay version for um, a good deal, I would say. Um, and again, this does come in four different colors. You have the silver, the Mary Kay pink, the red, and the white. Um, there are, they're all fairly hard to find. I would say the hardest ones to find are the dealer edition silver 2000. Um, and it seems like the red version is also a very hard to find. Th this Mary Kay version surprisingly seems to be in the middle in terms of um, difficulty to find. But finding one um, in its original box and with its straps still attached like, like I did, that's going to be kind of harder to find than one like sort of um, out sort of um, out of the box. 
So if you're looking to get a version of this model for cheap, um, eBay does often have listings for um, DeVille DTSs from MISO that are out of the box already. Um, maybe that have a couple of you know minor problems with them, but they usually go for around you know twenty to twenty to forty bucks depending on um, the condition and like which version it actually is. So I would say you know um, go for that if you're looking to save some money but still add um, th this model to your um, collection. Uh, but to just be wary of missing parts. I have seen um, listings where the mirrors are missing and stuff like that. But recently listings have sort of turned up more often than in previous years for this model. So I think that's nice to see. So um, take advantage of those um, opportunities when they um, come up. And if you're a fan of, you know, Cadillacs and uh, luxury cars, I would say this, this model would definitely fit well um, with your 118 scale collection. And I would highly re recommend um, buying it. As always, thank you so much for watching and feel free to comment down below with your thoughts on this model. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.